it's like the Blair Witch Project right here. It's blurry. Y'all see it? It's blurry on this side. It's a ghost. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everybody. Here to talk about the police officer that was not indicted in the Eric Garner uh, death. About yesterday, I made about six, seven videos on this matter. I decided not to edit them because I just figured it was just going to go in one in and out the other. I'm not going to waste all my time editing all them damn videos. A lot of y'all was just going to look at the title, press pause, and just go straight to the comments. Stop complaining. Get over it already. You're just mad. He was a thug a menace to society just like Brown. You got uh, the race war advocates that tried to uh, come to my channel and come to the comment section. So, no, you know, they approached him. And he was I like, yo, officer, y'all always bother me. Please leave me alone. Please don't touch me. And the police officer tried to grab him. And then he put him in a chill code, he went to the ground, and then about six officers rallied on top of him. Still in the chill code, he said, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Little do they know that he has asthma. He just laid there in handcuffs, lifeless on the side of the sidewalk. The guy behind the camera, which is his friend filming the whole thing, actually asked the police officer, why didn't you try CPR? And the police officer's response was, because he's breathing. Just so nonchalantly, EMS showed up and said, um, come get in the stretcher. He was stopped and arrested for selling untaxed cigarettes. Alleged. Because there haven't been a report of them even finding a cigarette pack on him. So, allegedly, he'd been arrested before in a uh, situation and incidents, I guess, involving the same thing. But, like I said... I never heard a report of them finding cigarettes on them. Maybe he sold them all before they got there. I don't know. The guy behind the video that was that was filming this whole incident, the grand jury indicted him. They indicted him on a gun charge. Now they were saying that the police saw him give a 25 caliber firearm to a 17 year old girl outside of a hotel. You know the guy who's a friend of Eric Garner that was filming. He said that the police searched him. And they found no weapon on him. He told the police officer, y'all just mad because I filmed your boy. He was filming the guy that was choking out Eric Garner. This is what the guy said that was behind the, uh, the camera. He said the police officer that was searching him told him karma's a bitch. Now, if this is true, and this police officer said this, why do you think this police officer would have said that? That karma's a bitch. I don't know what y'all tell me because everything I say when it involves a black person and a white person, they say, oh, you're, you're just black. You're making it seem like everyone's against black people. Stop complaining about it. Stop crying. I'm like, I haven't, I haven't said such thing in no video ever. I haven't said such thing. These are the things that people make up in the comments with the delusional minds. So I want y'all to tell me what's going on. I'm not going to tell y'all what's going on. I want y'all to tell me. First off, I want y'all to watch the video if you haven't. You know, he was using a choke code that was banned. You know, if you didn't know that, you could research that up too. He was using a choke code that was banned. Not only was he using a choke code that was banned for the New York Police Department. Choked this guy, and the guy repeatedly said he couldn't breathe. When he's not supposed to be choking him in the first place. And after they choked him, he, he, he didn't respond anymore. They left him in handcuffs, just laying there on the sidewalk. Nonchalantly, the EMS just showed up, say, hey, come here. Oh, okay. We're getting the stretcher. So who wants y'all to tell me? I'm not going to tell y'all. Y'all tell me in the comments below if this police officer did his job, it was justified. That's your opinion. That's okay. But I want you to explain in detail why he did his job, why this was an excessive force, and why, you know, this guy needed to get choked out to death. Even with all the dialogue that took place with the guy saying, please don't touch me, please leave me alone. All those type of things. You know, like on the last video with the Darren Wilson thing, a lot of people were saying that he was doing his job. He got out the car shooting at him and chasing him. So I, I guess he feared for his life running after the person that he feared. But in this situation, this is caught on camera. I want you to take this into consideration. If you're all going to say that this man was resisting arrest, at the particular time where everyone, he's laying on the ground, not moving at all, not aggressive, not violent, not verbally aggressive, very much compliant on the ground, and he's saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. In your opinion, for those of you that's going to take up for the side of this officer, I want you to tell me, why was it necessary for this police officer or police officers to continue to put pressure, choke, or mash this guy's head into the sidewalk, even at this particular time where he's saying he couldn't breathe. People on CNN are like, oh, you guys are just trying to make this about a racial thing. 
All these black people are always complaining about race. It's not race. Oh my God, we need to look at this. Listen, we wasn't there. How could you say you wasn't there when it's a whole video from the beginning, the middle to the end? I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. That, uh, everything you need to know about this is in a link in the description. I'll let y'all later.